here it is given that the LCM of A and B is equal to 72, alright, and the LCM of B and C is nothing but that 600, and the LCM of C and C is nothing but so it's a pretty easy question, it's not a very difficult one. Yeah. You just need to understand the basics. If the basics of LCM and LCA are clear, then anyone can solve this question and it won't take too much of time. So I'm just going to explain in detail. Now, how to find the LCM? LCM is nothing but it is all about the maximum power of y. For example, if there is a number like 12 and the 80, and I need to find out its LCM. I can say 12 is nothing but that is 2 square, 2, 3, that is 4 into 3, and 18 is 2 into 9, which is 2 into 3 square. And if we need to find out the LCM, so you can observe here, what is the maximum power of 2? So there are different powers of 2. Here, the maximum power of 2 is nothing but that is 2. In one term, it is 2 square, in one term, it is 1 all. Alright? So the maximum power among these two numbers is nothing but that is 2 square. Similarly, power of 3, the maximum power of 3 here is nothing but that is 2. So, 2 is square into 3 is square. And this is the LCM. So, LCM is nothing but this is, this is equal to 4 into 9, which is equal to 36. So, whenever we need to find out the LCM, we always take the maximum power of all the prime factors. So, that's why the LCM of these two numbers is nothing but that is equal to 36. Using this concept here, this question can be solved very easily. Let's see how to solve this particular question. Now, here it says 72. There are two numbers whose LCM is 72. So, if the two numbers whose LCM is 72, I can first of all write down the factorize the 72. So, if I factorize 72, 72 is nothing but that is equal to 2 cube into 3 square. Alright? So, A and B must consist of the powers of only 2 and 3. So, I can say, let's say A is nothing but that is equal to 2 raised to power x into 3 raised to power 1. Alright? And b is equal to nothing, but that is equal to, I can say, 2 raised to power p into 3 raised to power 2. And among these two numbers, take care, the maximum power, it must be power of 2, so b equal to 3 and power of 3 equal to 2. Alright? So I can say here, the maximum value among x and p, it must be equal to 2. So let me write it down. Maximum value among x and p, it must be equal to 3 and the maximum value among y and q. Because y and q are the powers of 3, and power of 3 here is square, so y and q is equal to 3. So this is from 72, we will get this particular equation. Now, next number is 600. If you factorize 600, you will get nothing, but that will be equal to 2 q into 3 into 5 square. So b and c must consist of the powers of 2 and 3. But as for the first particular case here, we can see here, the power of B, it can only have the power of 2 and 3. Okay, B can only have the power of 2 and 3. It cannot have the power of 5 because if it has the power of 5, then the LCM of N B, it can never be a 72. It will also consist of power of 5. So here, B should only consist of power of 2 and 3. So I can say B is definitely 2 raised to power B into 3 raised to power Similarly, if I am talking about C, so C is nothing but that is equal to, let's say, 2 raised to power R into 3 raised to power S into 5 raised to power P. One of the terms must consist of the powers of here. And LCM of these two terms is nothing but that is 600. So maximum value among P and R. So maximum value among P and R, it must be equal to nothing but it must be equal to 3 here. Alright? And the maximum value among you can say Q and S, it must be equal to how much? That is 1. Because here in the LCM, we are getting 3 raised to power 1. So that is 1. And what about the T? T must be equal to 2 only because there is no other possibility. So the power of 5, it must be equal to 2 only. So that is for sure that T is definitely equal to 2. Now again, either what, there are a lot of ways. So if I compare, start comparing at this stage here, so you can see it here. Maximum value among X and P is 3 and the maximum value P and R is 3. If I compare here, so P and R out of one these two numbers, among P and R, one of the numbers must be equal to 3 here. Take it? Alright. And among Y and Q, it must be 2 and among Q and S, one of the numbers must be 1. So if you observe here, Q can never be equal to 2 because here, if to satisfy this condition, Q can at the max can be equal to 1. So here Q can be maximum value of 2 is equal to 1 
So we can say that the y is definitely equal to 2. So for one thing, we are sure that y is definitely equal to 2. So we'll get that y is equal to 2. Similarly, if I go for another thing, LCM of C and E is nothing but 900. So I can say that let's say the value of C is equal to 2 raised to the power R into 3 raised to the power S into 5 raised to the power T, but we know that T is equal to 2, so I can say 5 raised to the power 2. Instead of writing T, let's write it down 5 raised to the power 2 only. So into 5 raised to the power 2. Okay, now if it comes to A, A is nothing but again A we have already identified that is 2 raised to the power x into 3 raised to the power y. And since we have already calculated that y is equal to 2, alright, so we can write down now, we can see it here, y is equal to 2 here. So I guess write down into 3 raised to the power. Now, the LCM of these two numbers, it must be equal to nothing but that is 900. So, maximum power among R and X, it must be equal to 900. First of all, factorize 900. 900 itself is nothing but that is equal to 2 square into 3 square into 5 square. Alright, so let me write it down. 900 is actually 2 square into 3 square into 5 square. Okay. So here we need the maximum value among an R and X, it must be equal to 2 here. So I can say it R and X, one of the number must be equal to 2. Then maximum value among work on power of 3, power of 3 in one of the cases it is S, in another case is 2. And we need it as 2 only. Alright. And 5 to power of 2 we already know that is 2. Now, so if I am talking about the power of 2s and power of 3s, power of 5s, in how many different ways they can be assigned. So let me write it down here, power of 2s. The power of 2s in all these numbers, okay, that is x in A, it is x, in B, it is P, and in C, it is R. Okay, C, it is R. Now, we also know the power of 3. Let me write down all the powers of 3. So power of 3 is here. In A, the power of 3 is nothing but that is equal to y. In B, the power of 3 is 2. And in C, the power of 3 is s. We know that y is nothing but y is definitely equal to 2. Take a y is definitely equal to 2. That is possible. Now, just look at here. Among x and p, one of the number we need that among x and p, one number should be equal to 3. Alright? Among p and r, also one of the numbers should be equal to 3. Okay. And among r and x, maximum, it can be equal to 2. So remember one thing here, if you observe it clearly. r and x, it can be at the max, it can be 2. So if r can be 2, maximum possible values of r is 2. So it means p must be equal to 3. Same way here also. Maximum possible value of x is 2, it means p should be definitely equal to 3. So to satisfy all these conditions, so p is definitely going to be equal to 3. So p is going to be equal to 3. So I can write it down that the p is definitely equal to 3. So we have got the value of p which is 3. Okay. So I can say x, r and p. So p is definitely equal to 3. Now once we have got it, that p is equal to 3. Among r and x, one of the number, it must be equal to 2. You can see it here. Among r and x, one of the number must be equal to 2. So, I can say there are 5 possibilities. Okay. Either both of them are equal to 2 or I can say 2, 1, 2, 0 or 0, 2, 1, 2. In all the cases, the value of p is 3. Alright. So, the power of 2, it can be assigned in how many ways? There are 5 different ways to assign the power of 2. So I can write it down that the, there are five different rules to assign the power of 2. So power of 2 can be assigned in five. I hope that this is clear to everyone. Now, similarly, if I'm talking about the power of 3, let's work on the power of 3 now. Here, power of 3, y is already know that is equal to 2. So q and s, maximum possible value among q and s is nothing but that is equal to 1. You can see here. That is going to be equal to 1. So among Q and S, one of the numbers must be equal to 1. So if Q is 1 and S is 1, or it can be 1, 0, or it can be equal to 0. So there are how many ways in which the power of 3 can be assigned? The power of 3 can be assigned in a total of nothing, but number of ways in which power of 3 can be assigned is equal to 3. So I can write down 
there are three different ways to assign the power of three and power of five. So power of five is exactly one way that we have already calculated. All right. So power of five can be assigned in exactly one way here. So I can say power of five. There is only one way. All right. So the answer for this particular question is how many order triplets because it is talking about the order triplets. So I can say the total number of order triplets is nothing than that is 5 to 3 to 1 which is equal to 15. So the answer for this question is nothing but that is equal to 15. So the final answer will be nothing but that is 15. And what I have observed here is that this question has been posted since 40 hours back and still not a single person is able to solve this particular question. Here. So I think uh, most of you guys who are writing a task, they need to work on their basics and fundamentals. Okay? Because if your basics and fundamentals are clear, then you can solve any questions. Alright? So that's it for today.